Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. Oh, gosh. Yep, that's me. <laughs> uh, welcome back once again. As I just said, I have a fun video for you guys. I know that I just did my Whirlpool base design, which a lot of my fans have liked and copied. Um, I definitely enjoyed it, but at this point in time, I am trying to get some money. You know what I'm saying? So, I have designed, check it out, a new Arrowhead um, farming base. That's right. So what that means by farming base is that I am going to be protecting my resources far more um, than my town hall. So the first and most important when you are in an active clan, let's go ahead and request troops. Let's say uh, Wiz, Archer, let's tell them they're on YouTube. Let's see who gives, and if they give what I'm actually asking for. <laughs> Alright, so let's put that clan castle right here in the middle. Um, and then, yeah, so the clan castle, when you are in an active clan, is the best defense. It is the best defense. Um, it's constantly, uh, if you're in a good clan, filling up, which means it's protecting you, and you really want that in the middle. Um, there's some level 5 archers. Thank you so much, BJ Rocks. Um... So, yeah, the clan castle needs to be in the middle because if you are in an active clan, there's some more level 5 archers from LiveX Prodigy. Thank you. LiveX has been donating really, really well lately. Um, so thanks for that. Um, but as you can see, we are protecting our resources because that is the most important part of a farming base. Um, we're going to put this wizard tower in here up at the top as well as these Teslas to help us out um, with their splash damage against any sort of goblin or anything like that. And then I'm going to put this little Tesla up here in this tip. And the reason that I have these walls disconnected like this is because a wall breaker is going to hit it and it's not really going to get anything from it, if you know what I'm saying. That's why I have the gold the gold walls. That's why I have the level 7 purple walls up there. Um, and yeah, I think that it's going to work really, really well against any kind of uh, attack that I might deal with um, from that standpoint. So anyways, let's go ahead and <coughs> continue bringing in our resources. We're going to put our elixir on the opposite side as the other one because we don't want someone who is just farming for elixir to come in and attack the left side because then they would get all of our elixir. Um, so you always want to stagger your, um, your storages. We're going to bring our mortar right in here, centralized as always. Centralized mortars are so, so very important. As well as air defenses as you get up to high level um, gameplay. There's some giants, not what I asked for, but thanks, level 6. I would definitely be using that, Todd. Um, yeah, so thank you, Todd, uh, and thanks everyone else for donating, as always. Um, there they come. I love that graphic. As you can see, the giants come in from the top part of the screen. It's pretty cool. Um, and then when you donate, they leave from the bottom, if you've never noticed that. But anyways, back to this, guys. We have two of our storages, um, two of each of our storages in the middle right now, which is exactly where we want them. Let's bring in our other defense. Our other air defense, as you can see, those are now triangulated as well. Let's grab this mortar and put that over here to the right. Um, as you can see, this red line goes right to the wall, um, which is another reason why I placed that wall so far out, because if a troop is right there, my mortar will still be able to hit it, um, which is which is perfect. If, if that red line was over the wall, then any sort of barbarian or any troop like that would not be affected. Um, so the fact that it is right on the wall, that means right on the other side of the wall, um, I will be able to shoot and cause damage. Um, so, yeah, that is why I placed those there. Let's bring these cannons in here because those cannons are going to be the first defense that any sort of giant goes to, um, which will be good over the mortar. And as you can see, they will come up in here and get spring trapped. Hopefully, that is the goal. All right, so let's continue, <laughs> let's continue working our way around. We're going to take our dark elixir storage, place that one right here. Let's bring in this other wizard tower. Place that one right there. Let's grab this elixir storage. Um, actually, let's grab a gold storage and put it over here because of that thing that I said earlier about staggering your resources. So this way someone can't just come in and get exactly what they're looking for. Yeah, everybody's looking for all the resources, but some people just farm for, for specific things, so that's why I stagger those like that. Um, there goes that archer tower. Let's put that thing in there as well as this archer tower right here. And then let's continue working our way around with this wizard tower that is going up to level 5. I'm definitely trying to get my gold count up because I need to upgrade my wizards. I have one more level. Level 6 is the highest for Town Hall 8. Um, but as you can see, these wizards are all triangulated. These mortars are all triangulated. And the air defenses are all 
triangulated, which is so very important because it helps cover the entire base. Um, so let's bring this cannon right up in here as well. There is a Instagram like that I just got. Guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check it out. It's molt underscore coc. Um, and you can see me Instagram sometimes raids that I do not post on here. All right, let's continue working our way around. Let's grab this archer tower. Throw that bad boy right in there. And I do want to protect my dark elixir pump as well. So we're going to put that in here. And we're going to continue working our way around. Bring our other archer tower and our barbarian king who's upgrading to level 3 right now. <coughs> which I'm super excited about because he is going to be doing some work. Bring this cannon right over here. Also to the front, let's grab this cannon, stagger it, bring in this archer tower. And guys, that pretty much does it. Actually, that does do it for all of our defenses. Um, now, I do still kind of want to protect my trophies because um, I want to stay up in this range because Dark Elixir is really, really good up here. So I'm going to put that bad boy right there, um, and hopefully it will work out for my benefit um, as I can protect it a little bit more, at least cause the person some stress when they're trying to come in here and get a free town hall, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so let's bring our army camps, which you can see are full. Let's bring those in close to the wall. Let's continue working our way around. <laughs> Let's continue working our way around with all of these um, buildings and storages and stuff. Bring this uh, army camp right in there. Let's bring this bad boy over here. Continue bringing them right up against the wall, guys. I know that there are people that do um, the whole spawn thing where you leave them further out, but I want my buildings to be protected. I don't want people to get free. Um, I don't want people to get free resources for me or free trophies. I know I'm not trophy hunting or anything right now, but still, I like having them, so don't steal them from me. <laughs> Bring these in here. Continue working their way around. There we go. So, guys, that is it. That is the Arrowhead. Um, there's another Instagram like that is the Arrowhead farming base. Let me know what you think in the comments. Feel free to copy it if you want. Change it up a little bit. It is on ClashOfClansBuilder.com labeled Arrowhead. So if you want to go in there and mess around with it, feel free to, guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. I love doing these base build videos. Look out for my Pick a Corner series. It's going to be coming up. Everybody voted for that one pretty much. Um, but, yeah, now that, we're, now that we hit Crystal League, I'm dropping back down to Raid because I really want to get... Um, my defense is up. So there we go, guys. And thank you, as always, for watching. You guys rule. Um, I'll see you later, all right? Keep calm and clash on. See you guys.